Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you um, how to tell if your car has got any kind of bad smells and if it's got bad smells, how to eliminate them. So, for instance, my E60, since I've had it, has always had this funny smell. No matter what air freshers I put in it, it will go when you put an air freshener and you wash the car. But after a certain time, the smell comes back once your air freshener starts to die. Now when you've got the air, uh, cold air on, you get these funny smells coming through the pollen filter housing. Now this is the best method I'm going to be showing you today how to eliminate them smells and how to eliminate them dirty, kind of dirty smells. The Evo 6 is the same, obviously when people own it you've got smelly bad feet or smelly breath or just stinky things of them if they don't wash it all gets trapped inside the pollen filters and inside the cabin itself. So this kind of thing we're going to be using is going to eliminate all them smells and what we've got to do is like a bomb. We leave it in the car, let it do its thing and then we're going to go back and check the car. So what I'm going to do, we're using today is we're going to be using the Meguiar's, which is the Summer Breeze one. This is very, very, very good stuff. I've used it in the E61 when it stank of the people. And obviously, you put these in, as you guys know, I've got the E60 up for sale, so I want to try and eliminate the smells, because obviously me and my missus are a smoker, and I don't really want it looking like um, the car smells, because some people don't like that when they come and buy it, so well, not everyone's a smoker. So it's the best way to eliminate it, and as you see, it says there, permanent odor elimination, which is permanent, it does get rid of it, and it does work, because the E61 still smells of this since I pull it in, and you can't smell any other thing. It goes all through the cabin, you've got to put the heaters on, and let it recirculate. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go out to the 60 and I'm going to show you how to use this and where to put it so it goes off because sometimes when it does go off it can end up falling down so you don't want that and how to sell it all up so let's go out to the 60 and I'm going to show you what to do okay guys so as you can see I'm now outside the 60 so what we're going to do is we're going to open the box up and as you can see here it's just a one little can like that that's all it is is a can of Meguiar's air refresher so now what we're going to do is we're going to get in the car and what you're going to want to do is put the heaters on like this and you're going to want to put the ignition on and then you're going to want to turn the, crank the cold air up and you need to put the recirculation on. So you want to pull it all on and you want to put it on recirculation. Now what you want to do is while the car, and I'm going to have the car running for this. So while the car's running, <clears throat> you then want to press down and as you can see, it's like a ticking time bomb. Now what you want to do is try and get out of the car while this is happening. Because as you can see, it's going up like that, like a bomb. That's what it's meant to do and it's set heaters recirculating now as you're doing that you just want to shut the door and leave it so what we're going to do is we're going to leave it and we'll come back after it finishes okay guys so as you can see it's stopped now after it's done that what you're going to want to do is open all the windows and open all the doors because obviously it can be very fumey in here after you've let that off so you want to just let it all air out the whole car while we're doing this thing as you can see the can has stopped it's like a bomb when it goes off it doesn't stop so it's all done now as you can see there I don't really want to get back in the car. The car smells very, very nice. Because what happens is as that's going off and you've got it all enclosed, the heaters are pulling it through, the recirculation on, it's pulling it all through for around the hill heat events and through the pollen filters. So it makes your car smell nice and gets rid of any kind of bad smells. Obviously I've got the rear, rear heating as well for the car. So that stop that helps going into the back. I can smell it all coming through the heaters already. Now it's gonna leave the car running white, it just all completely airs out. And then we'll be back to show you if it smells nice enough. So as you can see guys, I've now let this air out and let me tell you just now i've turned the heaters off and this car smells like 100 percent now since this there's no signs of bad smells anymore it's eliminated all the bad smells i mean where i live all you can ever smell is like cow crap because of the fields and all that and the farmers going up and down on the tracks you can't even smell it this car now smells like brand new it's eliminated all the bad smells the car smells like new again even with my air freshener here as i've got up here it still smells good and that's what i wanted I wanted to eliminate all the smells in this car and get rid of it so when a new owner comes it smells like like a good nice car which it now does so we've now sorted that one so now what we're going to be doing is probably doing the e46 one as well after i clean it out and get it ready but i hope you've enjoyed this video guys it wasn't much of a long video i was just showing you how to use obviously the Meguiar's um refresher on your car to obviously make it smell nice because obviously my one's never had it done i did it on the e61 but never done it on my e60 i am going to be doing it on the e46 i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you have please give it a thumbs up this is bmw dr dean here and goodbye <laughs>